Good morning, student. Good morning, coach. Okay. Um, today is 31st May 2018. Today is Thursday. Welcome to my practice class. Our topic for today is probability. Our topic for today is what? Probability. Now, we have this following objective that we want to cover during this class. The first one is, we want to define probability as chances or events. What is that probability as chances or events? Then, we want to state the importance of probability in daily activities. That is, what are the information that we need on probability concerning our daily activities. Then we'll give example of chances to events. Then we'll solve problems on probability. Let's start. Now, when we talk about probability, probability can be defined as the possibility of an event happening. When we talk about probability is showing us events that this event it can take place or it might not take place. Now when we are sure that a particular event will take place, we are very sure that a particular event will take place, the probability is one. But when we are sure that an event can never take place, the probability is zero. We are going to see what do we mean when we talk about events. Let's continue. Now, mathematically, when we talk about probability, mathematically, it's just the uh, English term defined mathematics. We cannot work uh, as a mathematician without the, the grammarians. Now, mathematically, we read in our own term. Mathematical probability means the number of required outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome. Now, let's start with the event. I said the last time that I was going to discuss event because we cannot work on this without understanding event or chance. Now, what's an event? An event is something that may or may not occur at some time. Event, something that might occur or will not occur. For example, we say in a day you are in school and it is sure that you must do what? You must go for break. Now, if you are talking about that, so far, that break that you go for after some period of time in the class, you go for that break, that event is sure. That is, you must have break. It might not matter, maybe in five or ten minutes. But in that kind of situation, going for break is an event. Every day, you must have what? Assembly. Once you gather at the school, you have assembly whereby uh, you pray to God, the information will pass across. Now, in that kind of situation, that is event too. I will say, or during some period in the future. It's possible that the event might not happen now. It might happen in the future. For example, if uh, your parents inform you that by uh, next month, which is June, we are in May. By next month, which is June, uh, on the first Saturday in the month of June, we are traveling somewhere. And in that kind of situation, that event, your parents said you are going somewhere. You have it in mind. Now, your parents said you are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. It's possible that day. The thing takes place, and it's possible it might not take place. Why? Anything can happen. Events 
a class born in a basket. Now, for example, we can calculate the number of students in this class, the total. Then we will not have boys and girls. We can look for the probability of boys. We can look for the probability of girls. We will still work something on that. Then we have something on that. Now, the next aspect is child's situation in everyday life. I have three. We can have more than three. But I just need this for us to be able to uh, have a solid example. For example, some people are successful in life, while some are not. Why do you say that? For example, we have sex of people, they started a business and they put in the same capital for that business. Now, at the end of the day, maybe they have maybe one more, two more, a year. One of them might not be able to make the same profit. It means those are not able to make good profit or they make loss. In that business, they are not successful. They can go for another business and they are successful. But in that business, they are not successful. Now, look at this. Like, when they say that sells an item, he or she, as the case they do, may either make a profit or a loss, depending. Now, all this we can calculate the probability. A man either lives or dies. That man is sure. Is it that the new person lives? or the person died. Now, with all these that we have now, we have the background knowledge of probability. We have to go to the problems of probability, then we will calculate. Look at the first one. In a class of 50 students, 20 of them are what? Girls. That's it. Now, Sometimes when you give you question of probability, you have to use your initiative. Now, from what we have here, if 20, without you looking at anything, in a class we have how many students? 50. 20 are girls. Automatically, we know that the remaining will be what? 30 boys. 30 boys. That will be the remaining. Now, look at they said a student is selected at random. What is the probability that he is a boy? Let me solve it. Let me solve that. Let me solve that. Now, considering our formula, the first thing you must have at the back of your mind is that you must add the total number of outcomes. Now, from our problem then, solution. Solution. Who can tell me the total number of outcomes? 50. 50. Which means 50 is the total number of outcomes it means we have total number of outcomes is equal to what? 50. That is 50 students. Now, 20 are girls. We have 20 girls. How do we get the number of boys? It's simple. What do you have to do? Boys will be total number of outcomes, that is total number of students. Total number of students. Minus what? Minus number of girls. Total number of students is what? 50 minus 
numbers of Gerotti 20. And that will give us 30, which means we have 30 months. Now, we are done with the first aspect. Then we'll go back to our question. The question says, a student is selected at random. What is the probability that he is a boy? Now, what are you supposed to do? Go to the number of boys. Then divide it by the total number. That is total number of alcohol. According to our the possible uh, total number of alcohol. Which means probability of having a boy. Probability of selecting a boy. And random is equal to number of boys 20 over total number, which is what? What is the total number? 50. 50. Then, when you are doing calculation like this, you don't need to give yourself edit. This is 30, this is 50. Zero cancel, zero. There are three over. Now, we need to understand one thing here. Yeah. Probability. If it is certain that that event will take place, it is one. If it is not certain, it is zero. 